Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and in this video I will show how to use camera and how to make parallax animation with using only After Effects and camera tools. First of all, let's go to here and change composition settings. Let's change full HD size and time duration. Let's select certain seconds. Click OK. So we have only two Photoshop layers. First layer, men and this layer background and first of all select these two layers click this checkbox for 3d layer and let's create new camera tool right mouse new and camera don't change any settings click ok and let's make parallax for deep let's change this view one and select this background layer let's press p and move the back Okay, select this layer main, press P, move the back like this. Let's select this background, move the back more. Okay, so let's close settings and change view camera one. And in this time, select this background layer, press S and change scale like this. Okay, select this layer main, press S, change scale and move to left let's select this layer background and move to down a little bit okay looks good and for camera controls i will use these icons for shortcut press c and let's see okay and click station tool and let's select this camera one right mouse go to camera and create orbit null for movement animations and for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Classation tool, and let's press R. We can make rotation like this, or let's press P. We can make like this camera doll animation. So right now we have four photo layers for background city, and select these four image layers, and move to here for create new composition and click OK and right mouse composition settings change time duration 5 seconds click OK and select this layer 2 let's move to right and layer 3 move to right and let's change composition settings time duration 10 click OK and select this layer 4 Move right, like this. Okay, not bad. And let's right mouse again, come to settings. And let's change width like this. I want to image composition size. Okay, click OK and select this layer 1. Let's move to left. And layer 2. Okay, let's change duration image like this and move to left okay change full time duration this all images and this and this layer 4 so select this layer 3 and move to right okay and layer 4 move to right also Let's move to left this image a little bit to left and layer 4 and let's go to again composition settings change more width click ok and select these three image layers or four layers hold shift move to left nice and let's click this region of interest and select region like this let's select this cut here go to composition and crop come to region of interest okay let's close composition 
and select this composition one let's change name image background and move to inside main composition and click this for 3d and select this image background press p and move to back and press s change scale move to up okay and select this x axis move to right and let's press s change scale more and move to up move to down like this and press p let's move right a little bit for first second okay so in this time make new person in keyframe and let's go to here select work area for 10 seconds right mouse and select trim comb to work area and go to last second and let's hold shift move to left let's zoom out here and move to left more and let's see speed okay not bad and for endless animation let's go to fs presses source effect tile and let's use cc repair tile let's use for background image composition and change expand right let's go to here change more expand and go to here change more and here hold shift change expand like this and here change expand right and go to last second let's change for endless loop animation so let's see nice we have loop endless animation with only four background image layers and let's change quality quarter close these keyframes and let's enable motion blur let's say again okay nice and let's go to fx presses search effect black and white select this black and white from color correction folder let's use for background image okay nice so in this time select this background and go to solo let's make mask for this window go to pen tool let's zoom in here make fast masking here okay clearization tool and press m open mask click this checkbox for inverted okay let's unsolo and select this image press p select first keyframe move to left okay nice and let's select this camera orbit null press p let's select first pause here and make new passing keyframe go to 10 seconds and zoom in let's see okay i like it and let's make perspective view select this camera and press air open rotation make x y and z axis rotations go to last second and let's try change y rotation a little bit like this for 3d view and let's see okay not bad so in this time um, go to here and let's make wiggle select this orbit null and press p let's move to up 
little bit and go to thank you frames for shotgun you can use hold shift press page down for go thank you frames or click time duration right plus 10 click ok and move to down go to thank you frames moved up again thank you frames move to down again let's repeat this for wiggle animation let's see okay not bad and go to thank you frames again moved up again moved to down again make more keyframes okay okay so select all keyframes and right mouse keyframe ascent and easy or click f9 So, I like it. And we can add lights for more realistic. Let's try it. Right mouse, new and light. And let's select light type spot and click cast shadow. Click OK. And select this X axis. Move the back. And in this time, let's press P. Make new person keyframe go to here let's change light for random lighting and here let's move to right and here move to left and here move to right and let's say keyframes copy and control v for paste and let's see Okay, this light's very realistic. And data light for realistic animation. Nice. So finally, let's go to FS Presses, search Effect Gaussian Blur. Select this Gaussian Blur. Let's use for image background. Let's change blue like this. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's see animation. Nice, pretty good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.